Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now, you have somebody with acute stress disorder having his wife pushed out of the car having the doors slammed and the car speeding off you don't know where they're taking you your family and your lawyers have been left behind that naturally would raise your stress levels again i ask is this the zambia that we want is this really the zambia that we want is this what we want to tell the outside world we are we went to four headquarters and it turned out that they never went there uh, they had merely lied to to us and uh, we then started trying to go to all kinds of uh, police stations because we didn't know where he was uh, somebody uh, who went to Kawata then alerted everybody that actually he's at Kawata police station and I started uh, turning around. I was uh, in Chelston by then. I was going to check on Chelston Police Station to come back to Kawata. As we were getting close to Kawata, um, a call came to say actually he has collapsed. Um, and we carried on trying to get to Kawata. And then we're told he's been taken uh, away. We're not, uh, by the time I wasn't sure where. But then somebody who had gone to check at Minor Soko then alerted us that they brought him to Minor Soko. So I dashed there naturally, being his lawyer, and wanting to find out exactly what the status of my client was, if he had been charged with anything, if so, what was he charged with, was he read his rights, etc. The, the things that a lawyer will do for a client. I got to Minor Soko, and again, they denied me access to my client today as well i have not had access to my client they say that one should go and get permission from home affairs this is the weekend home affairs is closed there's nobody there so in other words basically they're saying i cannot have access to my client we are of course uh, going to go to court uh, with regards to this and we are also going to be uh, raising this with uh, organizations such as the Human Rights Commission of Zambia the unfortunate thing about the Human Rights Commission of Zambia is that some of the commissioners have been making statements with regards to this which are highly prejudicial highly unprofessional for them to do so because how do they then look at a complaint from somebody if they've been making uh, uh, adverse comments about the very thing in fact it would be best that those commissioners who have been making comments should either resign or if the president really believes that uh, he wants to secure the rule of law in Zambia he should remove them when you have that kind of position you cannot be speaking anyhow yes everybody under the constitution has got the the freedom of expression but when you are in a certain position that freedom of expression is not there anymore if you want to have that freedom of expression then leave that position you can no longer be commissioner if if that commissioner has any morality any strain of morality she will step aside so that is the current position Question one or two. Yes. Uh, um, uh, Council, you were with Jay yesterday. <clears throat> There's a rumor going around that he mentioned his abducted. Is that true? Yes, that is true. He did uh, mention uh, his abductors. Were they? 
um, two of them that you mentioned are high um, government officials uh, actually stationed at uh, community house uh, since uh, everything in Zambia is done at community house uh, based at community house and then also Mwinde the youth uh, chair uh, for UPND in southern province the one yes the one who made who made the, that uh, video which has gone viral which you have all heard and uh, I, after we had done that um, I asked them to say you now have names of people naturally you should call them in and uh, interview them and get the story as to where they were in the days leading up to uh, the, the abductions the days whilst he was in abduction whom they were communicating with and where they were we do we, we heard that Mwinde was in Nusaka a few days before um, they should actually be looking at what were his movements whilst he was here whom was he in contact with whilst he was here in Nusaka if they are serious they'll do that and they'll let the nation know that this is what we have done with regards to these people who were named by my client yes. I actually had a similar question. Uh, just to add on it, uh, we, we believe that uh, CCTV, CCTV cameras in Osaka are working with and the command center has access to them. Why are they so, why, why is the police so hesitant to crack down on what really happened on that faithful day if these cameras are working and they are under their custody? That is something that uh, the public relations um, uh, of uh, the police must come and clearly explain to the people. Ray Hamonga should come and have a press conference, not where he's saying, you people out there, stop speculating, stop talking, and so on over this issue. If he wants people to stop speculating and talking over this issue, he should come and clearly state the CCTV cameras that we have, We've looked at them. We, here is even Honorable J.J. Banda passing on this road. There is this vehicle which is close by coming after him or there is no vehicle. Those kind of things should be given to, to the people quite clearly. From the time he was uh, abducted, uh, to they should look at the CCTV um, and see uh, whether there was any vehicles on any one of these roads going towards Kapfor, which was over speeding and so on, because he has stated that they were moving quite, uh, quite fast. And uh, if that is somebody at that hour driving that way on the CCTV cameras should be able to be picked up. If they were serious with the investigations, those are the things that they would do. Ray Hamonga would come and say, we've looked at the stretch from Lusaka to Kafue. These are the vehicles, there were 87 vehicles which went through from this uh, time to this time. We have followed up on all the 87 vehicles to find out who those owners are, where they were going, why at that time. But none of that is being done. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking time to have come here to get an update from the family of Honorable Jay Banda, as well as his uh, lawyer. Uh, I want to appeal to all of us that please, let's be ready at any time in case there will be another update. Uh, the family is going to guide us and will definitely communicate to all of you. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.